Hi, welcome to Master SAP Finance course. This course is prepared by a very experienced SAP Finance consultant working in global MNCs. The course will uh, discuss and take you in detail various topics handled by SAP Finance. This course will prepare you to become a successful SAP Finance consultant. SAP Finance is the most sought after module in the SAP ERP. Various, various topics that we will discuss in the course are as listed. We will initially go through enterprise structure. We will understand how the organization structure is defined in the SAP, how it can be configured. Then we will look at global configuration settings. Then we will discuss and understand taxation, how federal state tax and withholding tax can be configured and uh, can be configured in SAP. General ledger. We will look at various general ledger functionalities. Then we will look at month and activities. Some of the month and activities like prepaid expenses. They can be automated in the SAP using tools like Accrual Engine. We will be going through configuration and testing of Accrual Engine functionality. We will look at a special GL transactions. These are like down payment made to vendor or guarantees. These will be discussed how they are configured and how they are used in SAP. We will look at foreign currency transactions. In, in a global scenarios, companies have their offices across the globe. They are, they are doing transactions in multiple currencies. So we will look at how the foreign currency transactions are handled in SAP. How a transaction which is in a currency not in the company code currency is handled in the SAP. How foreign currency fluctuations are handled at month end in SAP. We will then move into accounts payable area. There we will look at master data settings and general settings in the accounts payable area. Accounts payable area has specific functionalities like automatic payment program. We will also look at file creation using DMEE tool in automatic payment program. Then we will look at electronic fund transfer like ACH wire transfer to external vendors using automatic payment program. Account receivable area here again we will be discussing the master data settings and general settings in account receivable area. Some of the important functionalities like Dunning will be covered just to your customers about their automa about their outstandings. These can be automated in the SAP. SAP can run bad job and the at a period specified by you and send the reminders through email or any other mode to the customers automatically. These will be configured and discussed in this course. We will look at the bank accounting, how the bank accounts are set up in SAP, how the electronic bank statements are handled in SAP. We can have both manual bank statements in the SAP or uh, nowadays it's basically the electronic bank statements which are feeded in the SAP. These are electronically through wire through secured file transfer received by the SAP environment and then uh, these are feeded into the SAP. So we will look at the functionality of electronic bank statement, what are the benefits of using electronic bank statements and how it can be uh, how it is used in SAP. We will also look at the lockbox. Lockbox is a functionality which is available in SAP. This is again a part of bank accounting. At a high level, I can say lockbox enables the automatic collection of checks from the customers. There is no need to manually collect a check from customer and then deposit in the SAP. All this is done electronically and automatically in SAP. This functionality is called lockbox. We will look in detail in the lockbox functionality along with this configuration, development and testing. We will now look, we will move on to asset accounting. In detail, we will discuss the configuration and testing of asset accounting module, sub-module. Then we will go to the new GL. New GL is a new functionality offered by SAP. New GL, here we will look at the configuration of the leading ledger and the non-leading ledger. New GL enables a company to prepare its financial reports like balance sheet, profit and loss account, as per various global accounting standards like IFRS or GAAP or even Indian accounting standards. So we can have our financial statements prepared for various uh, accounting requirements. It could be for taxation requirement, for international reporting or for local company reporting. 
we will move on to the month end and year end financial closing transaction then we will also look at the lsm blue to lsmw2 this tool is used specially used when we are migrating from a legacy system to a sap erp system it's used for moving data from the legacy system to the sap erp system i will also be providing supporting materials in terms of configuration document presentations and test cases for this course there will be many more topics which will be covered as we move along the course so welcome to the sp finance master course